Okay, hello, I'm Tim, and this is going to be a little a bit of a channel trailer type thing, but you learn a bit more about me and what to expect for the future of my channel. But basically, as you see, it's going to be sort of replaying some old favourites and also some forgotten things that I didn't really pay attention to at the time. But just a bit of history first. Um, sort of growing up, I didn't really have any of the consoles that other people had, like Nintendo, Segas, Playstations and stuff. So mainly what I had growing up, uh, around the mid-90s, there was a... This is sort of like that picture below, there's an old 486, um, and uh, to give you some context, there was no internet, definitely no CD-ROM, there was no sound cards, so it was PC speaker only, and the CPU, um, well, one of these SX chips, it didn't have what they call a math coprocessor, so uh, certain things that really slowed it down, so um, as you can imagine, everything uh, had to come in on a floppy drive, so I lived my life 1.44 megabytes at a time. And uh, when we first got that computer, um, these were some of the, the games. So up the top, there's a 2D platformer called Gods. Just loved that game. Then we had uh, one LHX attack helicopter. It looks very primitive, but it was a lot of fun. There's also a Pac-Man type clone called CD Man. It was sort of sort of uh, fleeting fun. And yeah, I've even included sort of Minesweeper and the, the Q-Basic Gorillas, because uh, when we first got the computer, that was some of the, the most fun things we had. But um, Mentioning that uh, the floppy disks, um, back then you could actually pay to get sort of uh, shareware things, so I started doing that, and we've got some of these things. So we've got some 2D platforms here, we've got uh, Zargon, Commander Keen, Secret Agent, we've got uh, Duke Nukem 1, Halloween Harry, Cosmo, uh, Bio Menace amongst others. Had a lot of fun with those, big fan of the uh, genre. And some other things, so we've got uh, One Must Fall 2097. That uh, next one over is um, Traffic Department 2192. That was a very fun game. The uh, story was sort of more fun than the action. We've got Raptor there, The Incredible Machine, and uh, also uh, Wacky Wheels. A lot of fun there, doing some different things. And also some uh, first-person shooters. So we've got, uh, of course, Wolfenstein 3D, Blackstone, which I've been doing, Ken's Labyrinth, and then uh, some more of the flasher ones at the time. We had Doom and uh, Descent. Just giving you an idea of one thing, like um, to load a level of Doom, it took about 45 seconds from when you push the button to actually got in there, and Descent was about almost three minutes to load the level up. So, yeah, that was sort of those games were definitely pushing its um, uh, capabilities. And but uh, in 1998, uh, the family got a new machine. We had internet for the first time, but it was horrible dial-up. There's a Pentium processor that was a big step up. We could actually uh, use CDs, and it had a sound card. So I got into some new things, including uh, real-time strategy. We've got sort of Total Annihilation up there. Love that game. Warcraft 2, so much fun there. And uh, later, Age of Empires. So, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, I sort of played it my way, not so much um, definitely a top-level play or anything like that, but um, just a lot of fun with that genre. And into other things later. So that we've got um, Commandos Behind Enemy Lines, a very uh, strategic game. We've got uh, the original GTA, that's one of the Need for Speeds, Need for Speed 2, and Road Rash. So a lot of fun with some things there. And of course more first person shooters, we've got Half-Life, Quake, Shadow Warrior, and Sin, amongst others. There's plenty more of course. Um, and then in 2000 I got my first PC, and then uh, other PCs over the years, but I um, got into some other things. So we've got a Diablo 2 there, spent many, many, many hours there. Max Payne, the first and second one, i played a lot of those course uh, Portal and the various Valve games, We've got Tomb Raider, Fable, and that's Dungeon Siege down there, so a lot of fun there, so as you said, they, these weren't all, you know, in that 2000, some of them were over many years later, and some other ones, we've got the Saw game, we've got the, um, that's Serious Sam, the second encounter, um, i trying to remember, I can't remember what that is at the moment, we'll come back to that, uh, I think that's Mud Runner, just a fun game, you know, driving trucks through mud and all sorts of things, that was a return to Castle Wolfenstein and uh, some of the various Call of Duty single player games. And um, yeah, the other one's just for. Yeah, you, you, you'll know what it is. It's a bit of a famous sort of third person um, um, shooter game, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun there. Anyway, so what kind of things to maybe expect for the future? So to start with, I'm going to be doing things that I find fun or I'm excited to do. So it'll be some of those type of things or some other ones that are similar, maybe from the franchises. 
but I won't be doing anything sort of big time sink games. So, you know, you could imagine some of those things that you generally, you know, spend 100 to 500 hours. Nothing. I won't do anything like that. Um, won't do anything sort of PvP, just, just not interested in that. But if you've got any um, suggestions or thoughts, please um, do let me know, especially with some of those things I've sort of shown you. And yeah, I will try to uh, alternate some of the genres around where I can a bit. I've done a little bit of that already. But um, yeah, I'll try not to do too much of the same thing over and over. Uh, but yeah, I, just one thing, I am fairly new to this, so I'm still learning and improving my video and thumbnails. So please uh, be patient with me. And um, I do have a day job, family and things. So all this comes after that. So but yeah, um, thanks for watching and stick around. And uh, let me know what you want me to do next. Okay, thanks. Bye.